Hello and welcome back to Joe Schaefer FlyFishing.com. I'm Joe Schaefer. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about making your own dubbing blends. Um, this is a real quick, easy thing that I do for a lot of my dubbings with our spooky trout in Colorado and everything that's going on in our waterways with pressure and stuff. I'm always looking for an edge and this is one way here that you can do it by changing up your dubbing blends. I have a quick example here of a couple different dubbings that I use quite a bit of and uh, we'll go over that in just a second. Um, first off you're going to need a coffee grinder and a coffee grinder is a real easy way to make dubbing. Um, my suggestion would be don't take your wife's or your coffee grinder that you already had coffee through. Just run out and get one. These things are pretty cheap and uh, fairly simple to get so just uh, kind of pick one. I usually typically like a little bit bigger blade in there like you see here. That way um, there's plenty of surface area for this to turn dubbing but I just use a simple coffee grinder. This is the one that I use. Um, makes it real simple and easy to mix your dubbings. First off we'll start with uh, just a flat house good dubbing. This is a real easy one to use here um, To show you an example. I kind of use like to mix dubbings that are flatter in color and Don't have a lot of sparkle to them with some of the sparkle dubbings It just makes for a real good look and I'll show you how I do that one easy way is is I'll put equal parts of dubbing to um, of each package of this typically um, sometimes I'll do um, different sizes um, sometimes I'll put just half as much in sometimes I'll, I'll put um, a quarter of the amount in just kind of however you want to dub it so with this one I kind of like a little bit more of the full color mixed with a little bit of this flashier color. And what we'll do is we'll just put that inside the mixer there, put on the lid, and give it a couple spins. Now what that'll do with just a couple spins, it, it mixes it, and it kinda just moves those fibers all throughout um, each other, and mixes it in with each other. This makes for uh, a lot of good use dubbing and it makes it a lot easier especially with some of these thicker dubbings you have an ice dub here that's typically a little bit harder to work with as dubbing but when you mix it and it gets spun in this dubbing uh, in this uh, dubbing grinder here it makes it a lot easier to uh, work with this stuff and you can see that those fibers mix in real nice now if you wanted a little bit if you want it a little bit less coarse and a little bit more fine, especially for like things like dry flies and things like that, you can spin it a couple extra times and really get this stuff down to a fine dubbing. So you can kind of play with that and see what you like. But that's one simple way to mix your dubbing. And you can see there it really makes a beautiful little dub. So that's that's a, a South Scud or dead orange, and then I mixed a UV ice hot orange. So another thing that I like to do that I'll show you real quick is mix natural hairs with um, fibers like an ice dub. Um, so you mix, mix those synthetics with uh, natural, and it makes for a really good look a lot of times. Um, so I'll kind of show you that one here too. This one I typically pull off a little bit bigger chunk. This is just natural hair, uh, hair's ear dubbing with guard hairs. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of pull that out. I'll use a pretty good chunk of that stuff because I don't want to um, mix too much of the flash in it. Kind of is a little bit of overkill. But in your area, the fish may like more flashy flies or things like that. So you can just kind of tailor this to what you want. And then I'll take another little chunk of this dubbing here. Uh, this is Ice Dub Golden Brown. This is one of my combinations I like to mix with it. And I'll just pull out about half as much as I put in there for the natural dubbing. And then I'll just kind of shove it down in there, put the lid on. 
give it a couple spins. Make sure you're holding the lid when you're doing this. Sometimes it'll fly off. And then you can see here, just a couple spins and you get a good mix of that dubby. So it finds it out a little bit. Plus it also makes in all those little natural fibers um, with that ice dub that we blended into there. Makes a beautiful dubby. Makes it real easy to work with. You can see that stuff just spins together real nice. So that's how you make dubbing in a coffee grinder. And hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Please subscribe. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.